So here's my tutorial on buying and selling, as in trading, uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, I'm currently logged into GDAX, which is part of Coinbase. Um, do click the link in my uh, video description and you will be able to sign up for this. And you will also get a credit of either £7 in the UK, uh, I think it's seven euros in Europe or ten dollars in the US as a bonus. So here you can trade different um, currencies between cryptocurrency and fiat currencies uh, such as euros and I'm currently on the pair of uh, Ethereum and euros which is just going up and up. Um, here you can see my recent trades. So. The last time I bought, I bought when it was at 965 euros. Uh, it's now gone quite far up. So let's have a look on the um, chart, see how it's doing. And um, you you have to kind of learn about this, watch lots of videos on trading. Uh, I can see at the moment it's at quite a high, high um, peak. So let's set a order here you can see it went to this peak before and it's about at that now so let's set it there 106,497 we're, we're at that already um, so really yeah it would be a good opportunity to sell some here let's sell I've currently got as you can see 0 0.05 so let's do 0 0.025 Place that sell order. Can't place it at that. I think it's because we are at that already. So let's do 1066. If it goes up to 1066, oops. Yep, I've placed the order there. And you must use this limit order because if you use market or stop orders, there's fees involved. But if you use limit orders, there's no fee so you will make the most amount of profit that you can so the theory behind this is that you buy when it's low and you sell when it's high so as you can see here in my history of orders that have been filled I last bought when it was at 965 I did sell some when it was at 1036 we're currently at 1065 is it going to go up to 1066 if it does then I should sell it's actually gone down slightly at the moment um, let me explain this part as well now let me explain both windows just while we are waiting for this trade to happen uh, first of all on this one at the top you can choose either a candlestick chart or a line chart the line simply shows the price that it's that it's been at um, and you can see that it sometimes goes down it goes up um, goes down like that up again whereas the candlestick chart this looks totally different now I've got this set at a one minute view because we're trading very quickly in this video uh, normally I have it set at the 15 minute view and what this means is each one of these is a 15 minute time frame now if it's green it means that it started here and it went up to here but it finished just here so then we went on to this one and it's traded between this level and this level but it finished here and then it went on to this one uh, it traded between that level and that level but it finished here green means it went up and red means it went down so the thin line that you see here is the total um, total range of the trades during that time period but the main body shows you where it entered at the beginning and where it left at the top now there is a slight difference here that I can't quite explain so um, I'm, I'm new to this myself so I've not got all of the answers and this is definitely not uh, financial advice by any means but I'm just showing you what I'm doing and what's working for me 
Um, so at the moment, I'm hoping that the Ethereum price is going to increase to 106.6 so that you see the trade happen. Um, and what I would do, let's go back to the one minute view. What I would do is when it does sell at this point, then I would use the funds to then buy back when it gets down to a lower point. So I would set my buyback at this point here. So what you need to do is just analyze the trading that you're seeing at the moment and you will see the certain levels that it's going. So this is this is following a pattern at the moment where it's going, it's like a undulating pattern. I guess it's going to go down next. Um, but I really hope it does go to 106.6. So, oh, it's going down. You can see at the top it is fluctuating slight, slightly, but it's around about this level. You can see that um, some of these lines are kind of pushing down. So the price is trying to get down, I think, at the moment. Um, but I really hope it just goes up slightly. I only need it to go up here so that the trade occurs that I've set down here. Now I do have some euros in my balance so what I'll do as well is show you um, how to set a buy order. So this could have happened after you've sold or it could happen um, if you've got some cash in your account. Now one tip I can give you that is very useful is when you load up your Coinbase account rather than just buying on Coinbase log into GDAX at gdax.com follow the link in the uh, video description and um, you will get a bonus I'll also get a bonus it doesn't cost you anything extra but you do get extra um, you do get extra funds so please do go through my link um, and um, then what you can do is load up your account with some fiat currency um, and then you can go on to GDAX. Let's say I've just loaded up my account with this 51 euros 80. Then what I can do is I can have a look at the trading. So I'm currently on the 15 minute graph. You could also go on to the hour or any any graph really. Um, and then just have a look at what the trading pattern has been like. So we've seen it undulating and it's been going down. Um, but now it seems to have reversed and it's going up but I'm guessing it could come down to um, this level and it might even dip down a little bit further so I'm going to set up a buy order here at 998 that is higher than when I last bought at 965 but I do think that Ethereum is um, going to go up further so I'm going to set it there so change this from sell to buy keep it on limit order and then you can um, put how much so it's going to buy when it hits 998 oh the sale has just occurred so I've now got 78 euros in my um, balance there and as you can see seconds ago this order filled so I've now sold here so I've got a little bit more money um, fiat currency rather and I'm going to set that order to buy when it comes down let's look at the 15 minute chart I might change my mind slightly about what I'm going to buy when I last bought I bought at 965 now I'm guessing it's going to come down again lower it's going to come down definitely to there so I might what well, I'll show I'll show you how how you can set up multiple buy orders so let's have a look at what 0.025 looks like that's only two two euros 55 so you have to experiment with this amount here so 0 0.025 is equal to 25 euros 47 at that level so I'll buy that when it reaches that level um, also it could come down as far as this level so at 929 I will buy a bit more 
0.05 and by the way I'm looking at Ethereum and Euro here but it's exactly the same with Bitcoin um, I just don't want to show my Bitcoin account but it is exactly the same um, and let's look at the one hour chart just to see if it ever went down even lower 938 Mm. no that's about the lowest it's ever been this other thing is interesting as well what you could do on this overlay if it's disabled if it's disabled when you log in select these two things and this shows you a moving average um, so this is the average price it's been between these and it's interesting to see whether the uh, trading is currently over average or under average so currently it's over average um, so it might go down to here for example 1015 um, I tend to be a bit conservative about my buying and selling so some people are trading very frequently um, but I tend to be a bit more conservative so let me just explain this bottom part as well now the green is people who are wanting to buy at certain prices and red is the people who are wanting to sell at certain prices and where the two meet that is where the trade occurs and you can see here on the order book that where they flash black that is where a buyer is being matched up with a seller and the Bitcoin is always sold at the lowest available price so if you are willing to sell at um, 106.5 it's going to happen pretty much immediately um, so then you'll see there's these walls so there's a little wall here where it goes up to 106.8 then there's another one at 107.0 these will be different by the time you look they will have totally changed but this is current market conditions uh, 108 there uh, 1081 so you see the range and you can even zoom zoom out and you'll see there is um, it does go really far like people want to buy at 271 on the other end of the scale people want to sell at 1850 so if you close your trade is going to happen quick but further away you're going to be waiting longer for that trade to happen so I really hope this helps let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll make much more videos about this I love trading um, Bitcoin and love uh, cryptocurrencies I do think it is the future um, so stay tuned to my channel give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching see you soon bye for now